let's chat. Good to have you with us as we hit our midweek stride. It is hump Wednesday, day. hump day, June 26th, <laughs> and a very special hump day Wednesday. Yes, so there's still plenty of time because we want you to load the car up and join us at the Lookouts game. Yep. That is a midday game. First pitch is going to be around 11 o'clock. Right. Guess who's throwing out that first pitch? Is. Pitches. Yes. Pitches. Pitches. Because there's two of us. There's two of us. And, and we're both doing Yeah, Jess and I get the honor of throwing out the first pitch for the Chattanooga Lookout. So that'll be mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Businessman special today, so. Mm -hmm. Well, how? That, that's, well, that's not a very appropriate term. That's what they call it. Yeah, I know. They used to call it the businessman special, then it went to the business person special, and now it's the midday getaway. Oh, person. I, get, I was like, why is that? It's the different? same Sorry. thing. It's the same thing. I didn't know why. You've been practicing from what I understand. Yes, I have been practicing. Really? I'm terrified that I'm not going to make it to home plate because mm -hmm. I've never done this before. So aim high. I've been practicing. Aim high. A little nervous. We'll so see how that if works. you come out to the game, say hey to us. Don't laugh at me when I don't make it to home plate. You'll make it to home plate. <laughs> a little secret. Come enjoy it. They let you walk down as far as you want to comfortably make it. Across. So I can stand this distance. Well, it's probably a little further than that. <laughs> okay. But anyway, okay, okay. going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Lookouts today at the ballpark. And again, uh, get there a little before 11. Jess mm -hmm. and I would love to hang out with you for a while. Yeah. Maybe you can give us some tips on how to make that pitch yes, clear please. home plate. Woohoo! Lookouts. All right. So stop. In the name of love. Very good. Very good. But in this particular case, stop <laughs> is one of our table talk items this morning okay. because. <laughs> There's a place in California who misspelled the word stop. How? Well, they were doing some painting on the street, and as you can tell here, stop oh. came out to be S T P O. P -O. P -O. The name of the city is Lemon Grove. It's out in California, and they said that <laughs> this mistake was the fault of a contractor. Well, I, would, I mean, it's, yeah. Whoever no. painted it. I'm not the smartest knife or the brightest bulb or any of that in the arsenal, but I can spell stop. Uh huh. I can spell stop. I know how it's spelled. And if you think the contractor accidentally <laughs> misspelled the word stop, what kind of other things are not yeah, quite be. right? Falling through the cracks. Ooh. Think of any words that you can make up using the letters S T O P. There's a lot. There are a number there of those, are aren't lot. they? Mm -hmm. Name me one. Just one. Post. Post is good. Tops. Spot. Ops. Ops. Ooh, ops, ops is a good one. Yeah. Pots. So, anyway. And this is right outside those. of an elementary school, by the oh. way. So that kind of adds. Well, there's a to good injury. teaching lesson yeah. for the children. But it's still not a word. Any way you any way you slice it. I, I, I really want to ask our viewers to post videos to our Facebook page of their children spelling stop for us. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Cool. So if you got any, if you have any young kids at home, yeah. and they can spell stop, share a video with Absolutely. us of them spelling stop. Just and in the interest of full disclosure, it. earlier this morning I was putting the weather graphics together for our morning show, and one popped on the air, and I'd spelled mainly M I A N L Y. I just uh -oh. got a couple just, of just letters. Just a little too fast. Trans, uh, transposed. I mean, I can understand it in a in a graphic or a computer yeah. typing situation because sure. it's easy to get one finger mm -hmm. faster than the other. Yeah. But when you're painting it on <laughs> the road, three feet high letters. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I don't understand. There you have it. But I've never done that job, so it may be harder than we think. You a Volkswagen fan? I am. And yeah, you actually have. Yeah, a, I have uh, an old Volkswagen. An older Volkswagen. Yep. It's white. Yes, correct. Triple white. Well, there was a uh, subject of our next item here. A longtime Volkswagen fan from New Jersey used the power of social media, believe it or mm. not, uh, as a time machine to bring back a little blast from her past. Oh, look at all that fun stuff! Meet this lady. Her name is Amanda Dorsett. She's had nearly a dozen VWs over the years, but it all started with the very first one, which was a 1975. Purple Beetle she got when she was 16. Aww. The story gets better. It was her first car and she loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. 
went back to school, or back to her hometown rather, mm -hmm. uh, for a class reunion and an old friend linked her to a car that was for sale on Facebook. And as soon as she saw the Facebook posting, she knew that it was her first car. Yeah. Complete with a title still in her mother's name and her name still hanging in the rear window. Yeah, Yay. and she's, um, I won't say aged a bit since the car, but there have been a number of years passed, mm -hmm. and I think that's just a really cool ending to the story. Well, of course, she bought it back, and she now owns her first car. And get a load of this, Volkswagen fans that. and car fans. She paid 400 bucks for the car. My Volkswagen was not 400 bucks. It was a 76. 400. It's a 76, so it's close, but it was not 400. We'd also like to see what pictures of your first car were. Yeah. You can put those on our Facebook page as well. Mine was a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Oh, Gold. Jess, 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 <laughs> technically, Jess, no, technically Jess, Jess. the Beetle was my first car. That was my 16th birthday present. Mm -hmm. 76 Volkswagen Beetle right. convertible. Mm -hmm. That was my 16th birthday present, but what I drove every day was a gold Jeep Grand Cherokee. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. You had two cars at your disposal when you were 16. Maybe. Okay. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Mine was... Thanks, Mom and Dad. Tomorrow, <laughs> we're going to talk about what my first car was. Oh, I can't wait. I can find pictures of it. No, it wasn't an Edsel or All anything right. like that. Well, we always like to leave everyone on a happy note. Yes, we do. Before we head into the rest of the show. So, of course, we have another story that's going to warm your heart on mm -hmm. this Wednesday morning. So, a woman got some support from her dog. Imagine that, another puppy story. This is killer video. It's the best video I've seen all day. <laughs> She's exercising at her home in California, doing sit-ups on the floor. And every time she placed her back on the floor, her dog named Charlie would give her a high five. Watching Paul right there. That's right. <laughs> so, he's one supportive pup. He really is. Great workout motivation. I want to let that video play yes. just for another it just few makes seconds. You smile. Is that not the cutest thing you've seen all day? Double paw, double paw. Yeah, I know. Good work, oh, mom. Good that's work, so mom. cute. Yeah. I, I have tried to work out with my dog, mm -hmm. who's considerably larger than this dog. If right. you've seen our Facebook page, I posted a picture of him last mm -hmm. night and our Instagram. Uh, I, I've done push ups with him, right. and he comes and he puts his paws on my back. It's really cute in this so video. He's helping. But he's when he's like 100 that. pounds, it's yeah, not that could, that could be a little... Uh, a little <laughs> hey, if your pup is supportive, share when, it with us. When I'm working out at home, <laughs> that's funny. When I'm working out at home, my dog helps. He goes over to his little doggy bed, gets in there, and leaves me alone. Aw, see? Of course, he does that 22, 23 hours a day anyway. Love so it. there you have it. Yeah.